Hi everybody. All right, this is the final video before we put on the skin. This is also what I'm going to call the G3X wiring finale. This is it. Uh, we are done. After this video, we are done wiring up. Thank God. So, uh, what exactly are we doing? Well, a um, couple of things. So, apparently we're actually undoing some wiring. It always makes me unnerved. Uh, but what we are doing, you can see I've got a couple of uh, work towels in there. I've got my Dremel out. So along the very top where the the two, the two top three thing, the top two things, sorry, in the center stack is the autopilot controller followed by the audio panel. And the wires that come out of them and back behind there, and it's kind of hard to see, uh, it's very tight. The opening for the hole in the sub panel. So I'm just going through with a Dremel and then a file here and making them bigger. You can kind of see the big lips, the uh, lip cutout that I've made. And I'm wrapping all the wires in extra silicone tape. And uh, I also have a grommet material, sort of a grommet ring that uh, I'm putting around it as well to protect the wires from getting chafed. The wiring itself is done. We're, we're happy. I don't think I'm going to need to modify it for a while, and that was sort of the thing. Again, this is my house of inner horrors, and the horrors being I don't want to have to re... Imagine if, if I had to wire this entire system with that top skin on, it's unimaginable. I cannot imagine doing it. Everything would have to be between the top, or between the sub panel and the forward panel. I mean, to mount anything, it would be a nightmare. So I'm so glad I did it this way. Uh, would I do it again this way? Eh, a couple of things I'd tweak, but nothing too major. See, that, like I said in the last video, now it's just all about putting wire ties in, making sure everything is nice and tight. At least it makes it look nice and tight. Alright, so while you watch me do that, and watch me do this, which is put a boot onto the main ground line for safety, uh, I have a small rant. So to the supposed experimental aircraft friendly insurance company that is insuring my airplane what the fuck i call him the other day i said look i need I'm, i know i'm on a ground i'm on a non-movement uh policy i need to change my policy to a flying policy i'm getting ready to fly this thing they're like okay so here's what you need you need so many hours of training i'm like great i'm already i'm already scheduled to get those they said um now for the first 10 hours you will be insured as a pilot. I'm like, great. They said, but we won't insure your plane. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, for your first 10 hours your plane flies, we can't, and we won't insure it. I'm like, you realize, uh, I'm at a, a big international airport that requires insurance, like a million dollars of liability. How I can't even, I can't fly this plane here without insurance, you stupid fuckers. Well, that's just how we insure. I'm like, well, then you're not insuring me. So now I'm in a desperate, <laughs> desperate quest to find some new insurance. If anyone knows, if you if if you like your insurance, please paste below who they are, because I've I'm I'm in desperate need of help. So, all right, on to one of the most important things you're going to do on your firewall, which you won't actually be able to see because of the place I put the camera. We are sealing up the pass-throughs. Uh, so basically, what we've got is we bought some. I bought some uh, uh, Strataflex line. These are three quarter inch, so I bought some one inch. You you can trim it to whatever size you need. You're going to have to trim it to get it around the wires anyway, so it doesn't matter. You can always just buy oversized. Each pass through has two pieces of Strataflex, one on the inside surrounding all the wires, and then another one on the outside of the pass through. And then on top of that, I've got. Uh, a pipe, uh, yeah, a pipe clamp, stainless steel pipe clamp, and then the whole thing is surrounded by silicone tape. And on the inside, amongst all the wires, the thing is just jammed up full of 3M fire barrier. Uh, I'll try to get some pictures of that for you. There, you just saw me walking around with a tube of uh, Pro Seal, which means in the next video it's on. In fact, there's my buddy Ted. So yeah, we're about to get on with the top skin. So. Thank you for joining me, everyone. See you soon.